Jim Benton. Catwad. It's me. Love. Hey! You know what I love? Do you? Do you? Do you? Please. Please, whatever you do, don't tell me. Everything? That's nonsense. Nobody likes everything. Well, I do. You're telling me you don't hate anything? That's right. Not nothing. Not nowhere. Never ever. Well, what about hatred? Are you telling me that you love that? Pretty genius question. Let's see you answer that one. Hmm. Hatred. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Okay. I thought about it and I do love it. How can you say that? If you love everything, how could you feel that way about hatred? Because I love you, and hatred is your favorite thing. Oh my gosh, I think I love that. Stop breaking hate for me! Relax. Let's try out your new transforming relaxation chair. Why? It's going to make you feel great. Look at all the buttons on this remote. I wonder if this one does anything. <laughs> Maybe this is the relaxation button. <laughs> oh, wait. I bet this is the one that you want. Crack, crack, crack. Or maybe this one. Crunch, 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 crunch. Ah. Now that sounds like somebody who feels really good. Please, don't make me feel any gooder. Blurp. Let's meet Catwad's friend. Tell us something about yourself, Blurp. Oh, that's me. Okay, here's something about me. I really like it. Great, but we're out of time, Blump. Maybe next time. Rush. I read somewhere that in order to keep your smile happy and bright, you have to brush your teeth for 15 hours a day. Hey, Ding Dong, I'm pretty sure you read that wrong. That would be way too long. Capwad, can we please have this conversation after I brush my teeth? Works for me. Hotel. Catwad, this looks like a nice place. Let's stay here. Oh my gosh, this place is awesome. It's a dump. Let's just try to get some sleep. A sweet dreams. Blurp, holy smokes, you just ate like 1,742 spiders. I told you this place is awesome. Free breakfast in bed. Grow up. Ah! Catwad, help! I, I can't find my popsicle, and my ear is really cold! Don't you think it's about time that you grew up a little? You mean by growing a manly beard and mustache? I mean that I'd be happier if you were more mature. Then I'll do it! I'll read all of the mature calorie and vitamin information on every single thing I eat. I'll fill out highly mature forms just for the fun of it. Now all I need is some grown-up lotions and weird adult socks. Look, Catwad, I'm all mature now. <laughs> you. You know, I think maybe I'm happier this way. Crap. Pizza. I'm hungry. Do you want to get the pizza? Yes, it's my favorite round flat food. What do you want to get on it? These, my hands. I want to get my hands on it. I'm getting pepperoni. Oh, get pepperoni too. We'd like one pepperoni pizza, please. Okay, got it. He wants to know if he should cut it into six pieces or eight. Think or get activated. Hmm. Six or eight. Hmm. Eight. Better cut it into six pieces. Come on, man. There's no way we can eat eight pieces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Catwad, are you okay? Yes, put me down. It's just that sometimes I forget how perfectly dumb you are. I can't believe you think I'm perfect. <gasps> I think I hear the pizza guy. Hey, I didn't say you're perfect. The pizza's here. Hey, do you think the pizza guys accidentally put all this stuff on the bottom of our pizza and then put it in the box upside down? Okay, maybe you are perfect. Do you? Catwad, do you like me more than pizza? No. Well, what if the pizza had a big, dirty rat sitting on it? I'd still like the pizza more. 
But what if the rat was working out and getting rat sweat all over the pizza? Not even close. I'd still like the pizza. What if the pizza was covered in poisoned toenails? I don't know. I said, what if it was covered in poison and toenails? Okay, in that case, I guess I would like you more. Oh my God, you're my best friend too. What's in a name? What are you wasting your time on now? I'm working on a new way to sign my name. Mm. Where did you ever get the name like Blurp anyway? My parents said the name just came to them one day. Well, parents can be pretty weird, I guess. Yeah. Blurp. Surprise? Catwad, I have a surprise. Guess what it is, guess what it is. I really don't want to do this. Just guess, just guess, just guess, just guess, just guess, just guess, just guess. I give up. I got a tattoo. Really? Yep. Can I see it? You sure can. Well, where is it? It's right here. I had a tattoo of my face put on my back. Why would you do something like that? So you can see my happy, smiling face grinning at you whether I'm coming or going. Snuckle, 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 snuckle. Yeah, I really don't need to see it that often. And I tattooed it on your favorite chair. And I tattooed it on your lunch. And the palms of your hands. And on every single one of your teeth. So when you smile, I can smile along with you. No! Catwad, wake up! You're having a nightmare! A nightmare? But it felt so real. Oh man, it was awful. Well, it's over now. So don't worry about it. And besides, I did something that's going to make you really, really happy. Oh yeah? What was it? Hero. What are you doing? I'm a crime-fighting hero now! Okay then, let's hear your origin story. Well, I thought about being one of those mysterious and angry heroes of the night, but my bedtime is too early for that. I considered getting bitten by some radioactive bug, but I was afraid it might be one of those dumb bugs that just crawls around on dog poo. And I couldn't be one of those guys that gets big and strong when he gets angry, because getting big and strong would also make me so happy that I would just shrink again. So what is your superpower? Well, whenever I see a criminal getting ready to steal something, I just go ahead and buy it for him. The best way to prank crime is to make sure it never happens! Legend. Catwad, come quick! It's the most amazingly amazing creature you've ever seen! Let me tell you the legend. Unicorns, as you know, are the most beautiful living things in the world, and fairies are the most magical. Legend tells us of a tiny creature with the pointy horn of a unicorn and the lovely, delicate wings of a fairy. The story says on enchanted nights like this, if you're very, very lucky, one of them might even land on you and kiss you with his horn. Fairy unicorns! Wait a second. These aren't fairy unicorns? Jab. They're mosquitoes, you idiot! So many lucky horn kisses. Uh. <laughs> Worm, 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 worm. Oh yeah! Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Twerk, 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 twerk. Worm, 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 worm. What are you listening to? Oh, nothing. This is a pastry. I just really like pastries. Rain. Rain. Oh man, I hate rain. Blurp always says a little rain never hurt anybody, and at the end you get a pretty rainbow. Hey. Wow, look at that. I guess he was right. I, a little rain never did hurt any. The cold. Ugh, catwad. What's wrong with me? You caught a cold. It's no big deal. You have these sniffles. It's caused by a little virus. A virus? Where exactly is this little virus? It's inside you. Inside me? Like I'm a mommy? I think I'll call her Snifflede. No, it's not like that at all. I promise you, Sniffleen, that I will be the best mommy in the world to you. Blurp, it's a cold. You're not a mommy. Don't you dare talk back to a mommy! What could possibly make you think that you could be a mommy? Okay, well, you did learn how to knit pretty fast. And a few more things. Everything has to be perfectly clean for babies, even though they like to throw up on themselves and sit around in dirty diapers. And we can't have anything sharp she could hurt herself with, or stuff she could accidentally swallow, like gum. Or dynamite. And I don't want her to see anything too scary like zombie movies or my grandma's giant underpants. And also, I want to make sure. Uh. Mm. Mm. 
One good long sleep later. Hey, Catwad! My cold is gone! Hey, Catwad! My cold is gone! Ah! Stop! I, um, got an email from Snifleen. She said she's uh, infecting some really important people right now, but she'll come back and visit you as soon as she can. I'm so proud of her. And we have all her adorable baby pictures to look at while we miss her. Baby pictures. Are those all old Kleenexes? They grow up so fast, don't they? Happy Mother's Day. Love, your virus. Jack. <laughs> Cadwad, come here and look at my jolly jack-o'-lantern. Look, I drew a big happy face to cut out. Let's see how long he feels happy. After you stick a knife in his face. Ah! Hey, why is it your pumpkin carved? Shh, I don't want to upset him again. Lemons. Oh, man, my computer isn't working. Why do things like this happen to me? Ah! There, there, don't be upset. You know what they always say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. What does that even mean? Well, when things go sour, you know, like lemons, you should just make the best of it. Winkies. Look, for me to make lemonade, life would also have to give me water, sugar, and a pitcher of ice. And I would need a knife to cut the lemons and a spoon to stir it. Life has to give you a lot more than just lemons to make lemonade. How about it? Besides, how is lemonade going to fix any computer? Who would ever think that might help? It's not like dumping lemonade on the computer would fix it. Um, yeah, um, right. Skull. La 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 la. A skull! Yay! Did you say yay? About finding a skull? You do know that's a skull, right? Why would you be happy to find a skull on the ground? Because I assume it must be Halloween. Cuddle, cuddle, cuddle. That's crazy. Well, what do you assume? That it's my skull! Dare. Hey, cat, what? What? Let's play truth or dare. Okay, I go first. Truth or dare. Dare! I dare you to stop playing this game and never bring it up again. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm winning. I'm still winning. Smile. Blurp is always so happy. Maybe I should try smiling more. Cadwad, what happened? I smiled so hard, I accidentally turned myself inside out. I'll have to spend the rest of my life as nothing but a giant permanent green. I can't believe it. You're so lucky! I'll stay with you every minute. I'll keep your beautiful smile bright. I'll carry you around like my tiny baby. I'll dress us in matching sailor suits. Thanks, Blurp. You always know exactly how to put a smile off my face. Teach me how to be a permanent inside-out gross grin thing. Special preview of Catwad number two. Art. This is quite a beautiful pose of mine, isn't it? I guess. Whatever. Just hold still and stop talking. Chelsea. Chelsea. Oh, hi, Catwad. Hey, you sure have made a lot of paintings of that duck. I mean, that's fine, I suppose. It's just that there could be some other people that can also do interesting poses. Look, Blurp, if you want me to paint you two, just ask me. Yes, please, pay me, pay me. Oh, my gosh. I feel so artistic. Dumb. How do people in China get their vitamin C when their alphabet doesn't even have a C in it? Vitamin C. In China, so dumb, so dumb, so, uh, what? I need a doctor. Hmm, looks like it's dumbitis. Was he exposed to any dumbness recently? Not that I can rememberize. Have you ever been tested for dumbness? It just takes a minute to solve this problem. The answer is fart. The answer is fart. So dumb, so, so... Breaking news, witnesses are reporting that dumbness has broken out all over the country. A number of victims have come down with dumb-itis after having contact with one individual. Police have released this sketch of the individual. Fifty years later. Was the world always dumb, Daddy? No, son. It used to be just partly dumb. But then the dumbness came. And the dumb zombies. And now it's so dumb it will never recover. 
Catwad, can you hear me? Are you okay? Poof. I asked you about vitamin C and you just went blank. What are we doing here? Saving the world. Don't miss Catwad, number two. Bonus activity. Can you find the two identical blurps? Meet Catwad. He's blue, he's a bit of a grouch, and his best friend is a happy-go-lucky cat named Blurp, who can see the bright side of anything, from pizza and computers to love and happiness. This furball has a funny take on just about everything, and he's not afraid to share it. It's an all-new, laugh-out-loud series that will make even the grumpiest of grumblers smile.